Let's make a Halloween candy board. I'm spoiling the girls this year with snacks and candy since we're not going trick or treating. I started with some Halloween Oreos, some green apple and watermelon pop rocks, candy corn salt water taffy, Empire Kisses, they have strawberry cream in the middle, some pretzel sticks, autumn mix candy corn, and it has pumpkins in it as well, Halloween animal cookies, they have cats and bats for the shapes, these veggie chips, they're ghosts and bats, so cute. I'm just laying them out so you can see the ghosts and bats. And caramel apple pops, these are my absolute favorite for Halloween. Pumpkin pie flavored jelly beans, some cute Halloween chocolates. There's some jack-o'-lanterns and a zombie. These are Olive's favorite, she already ate all the eyeballs that came with it. And lastly, some peanut M&Ms. Happy Halloween! Pretty mommy! Okay, so I'm going to a girls' night and it's charcuterie board night, so you're supposed to bring a charcuterie board. And I was in charge of the s'mores board, so I thought I would show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just washed and dried this, and this was actually from Walmart. It was like $15. A steal of a deal if you ask me. Okay, so we already have an error. I bought these little candles to go in the middle so you could like light it and roast it. And I left them at the store in the bag because I did self-checkout. So we're going to have to figure things out. I got jumbo marshmallows. And I'm thinking maybe these in the middle. Now I'm going to add some cookies, but I'm going to try to figure out how to like lay them around this cup. And then I'm thinking for some symmetry, these other cookies going around the other cup. Now I'm going to add some chocolate. I got two kinds. I got cookies and cream and then normal chocolate. Can't forget the graham crackers. Some Reese's. Ooh. And then I just cut up some strawberries because I thought these would be really cute to stack. It's finished and it's so cute. So let me show you. Am I 10 minutes late? Yeah, but was it worth it? Yes. Holly has wanted to make a charcuterie board since the first time we saw them on TikTok. So last night she talked me into buying this tray and we bought all the meats to go on it. We tried the viral meat rows and they worked really good. She did all of them by herself. Well, Drew helped with some too. And she planned out everything she wanted to put on it. She picked out all the cheeses, the meats, the peppers, the pickles, everything. We even added some chocolate chip cookies just to make it something that our family would eat. We found four different kinds of crackers and we bought everything to go on it at Walmart. It ended up being fairly affordable. We even added fruit dip for all the fruit we got. And then she took it into the living room so that we could all enjoy it. Let's make the ultimate charcuterie board for the Kentucky Derby. The salami rose hack from TikTok is a game changer, definitely do this. And I recommend starting with three types of cheese, things like brie, cheddar, gouda, placing them into the thirds of the board. From there, add dried meats like prosciutto, start adding crackers across the board, and fill in any gaps with fruit and nuts. Make sure to add things like knives to make it easier for your guests to serve themselves. And just remember that charcuterie boards are all about balance. I'm sharing a brilliant discovery, you guys, that I stumbled upon another creator's page this week, and I'll be tagging her below. Have you heard of a butterboard? Well, this is a butterboard, you guys, and it is a great accompaniment to any one of my charcuterie boards that you all know how much I love to serve a charcuterie board for every and any and every season under the sun to anyone who comes to my home. This butter board can be topped with your favorite toppings, whatever you choose, but I decided to bake some garlic, some flaky salt, some lemon zest, some fresh thyme, some fresh chives, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and a spicy chili oil, and then I drizzled just a little bit of honey over that chili oil. You guys, this is perfect served with a warm crusty bed, bread right out of the oven. Um, I used, uh, I baked an almond flour bread. I'll be sharing that recipe later this week. Like and follow for more low carb, low sugar ideas.
Of course, let's make a Valentine's Day board for two people. The cheeses that I'll be using are brie, which I cut into a heart, and then pepper jack and white cheddar. Went ahead and crumbled that up, and now we are going to slice some red apples. We're going for kind of like a red moody theme for this board, obviously. And of course, we will add some dark chocolate. For the dip, we are going to use some honey. This will be really good on the brie and the white cheddar that we chose. Going to add some sliced strawberries and then some dried apricots. The fruit and dried fruit is going to pair super nicely with the dark chocolate. And then I'm going to top it off with some cherries, pomegranate seeds, little EXO gummy candies, and there you have it. This might be a little bit more than just for two people, but if you guys have it for dinner with some wine, I think it'd be the perfect amount. Today I decided to use my new charcuterie board to treat my wife when she got home from work. I cut up some fruit and some cheese. Oh my god, I almost forgot to tell you guys. A man honked his horn at me today because he disapproved over something I was doing while I was driving. I didn't turn quick enough for him. And even though I don't really pray anymore, today I prayed that that man would develop a genuine love for roller skating, that it would just become his passion. 
He would build all of his friendships around it. Every gift he got and gave was about roller skating. I just pray that this would become this man's whole life, that roller skating would become the primary marker of his identity, and then he would break his ankles, lose all of his friends, and die alone with children that hate him. Anyway, there's my wife. She's so surprised. She's so cute. Shit, we out here with that shark coochie board. Shark coochie board, shark coochie, shark coochie. Okay, boom. We didn't know what to make for dinner, so we made a charcuterie board. We started by placing our chicken tendies and our beef and cheese taquitos all around a bowl of the universal dipping sauce, Amigos Ranch. If you're not from Nebraska, you just don't get it. Then we have our perfectly cooked mini pizza bagel bites. Next up, prosciutto mozzarella roll-ups. Not sure how I felt about these. I think they were a little too fancy for us. Next up, tortilla chips all around our buffalo chicken dip. Not the same thing as buffalo hummus, but close enough. And finally, everyone's least favorite, crackers, cheese, and summer sausage. No offense to anyone who actually enjoys this appetizer, but let's be real. When you have taquitos, chicken tendies, and buffalo chicken dip as options, who's actually had to go for this? And the Monterey Jack cheese was soft, like mozzarella soft. It was whack. And finally, our finishing touches. Chip in the dip, tend me in the ranch, and there you have it, the charcuterie board.
see all your amazing butter boards and I raise you a dulce de leche board. This is made from one ingredient caramel and you can place some pretzels and cookies and even fruit around it to really impress your guests. All you have to do is cook two cans of sweetened condensed milk in your crock pot on high for 10 hours. Let them cool completely and you're ready to go and make your board. Happy caramel dipping! Thank you.